Hey, what's up, guys? Kane here with XBLA Fans, and I'm going to be giving you a quick taste of Wonder Boy. So for those of you who aren't familiar, Wonder Boy is kind of a cult classic. And one of the cool things about this is it introduces Wonder Girl as well. It's been modernized. It's got cool, just reimagined, hand-drawn animations, a redone, orchestrated soundtrack. It's got like its same standard, you know, unique blend of exploration, action, adventure. It feels very old school. As I'm playing through the game, like when I jump, I feel a little floaty, you know, like uh, the attacks are a little little bit old you know they, they feel very much like it would have felt in the past and that's kind of cool for something like this now one of the really neat things about this game is the fact that you can do this whole on you can retro it basically you know retro music retro sound effects retro look you can even do some things to kind of make it feel more like it would have back when you would have played it originally and that's just kind of neat now the cool thing about this is it's just a very different game than things I've played in the past. But my absolute favorite aspect of this entire game is the ability to transfer between old and new graphics at any given point. You can just hit the R button and just continue playing. And if you just want to swap it out and see what it looked like in the past and see what it looks like now, it's just a really neat little novelty. And like, I really thought that was super cool. Now, as I play through this, I'm going to eventually be transformed into a half-human, half-lizard monstrosity by the, the Mecha Dragon. It took me a little bit, I'll be honest, to even figure out how to get to him. Because uh, as I was progressing through the level, it just kept telling me, like, no, you're going the wrong way. So, <laughs> it took me a little bit to figure out exactly where I needed to go. But no, like, this game gets pretty interesting, so with each dragon you slay, you get to transform into different animals. You're gonna, you know, kind of explore large interconnected locations, uh, different dragons, and a lot of different things going on. Uh, I know, like, when I finish this area, like, we'll eventually get to, like, a almost storefront. And it's really neat to see kind of how the game has evolved there to, you know, look different in a, like, modernized feel. Uh, the game has three different difficulties, and it should be able to cater to, you know, a more casual fan as well as a more hardcore fan off of those. So, we will be streaming this on twitch.tv slash xblafans at 6pm EST tonight. Uh, looking forward to showing that off. Zero J Hootie will be uh, playing the game. And it should be a really good time. So, this is Mecha Dragon, and, like, he's a very good example of, you know, like, what it used to look like. Much more simple. Now, obviously, I have some, like, uh, special abilities and stuff that I just haven't used. And, I'll be honest, I kind of brute forced this. <laughs> which is not what I recommend doing, but I kind of just was like, eh. I think I let him hit me with his face a little too much. It took me a bit to realize at first that I needed to hit him in the face to begin with. I gotta learn to duck, man. Learn to duck, Kane. Stop goosing. But no, like, once I kill this, you get to see, like, kind of a really cool thing. So he's gonna curse me, and I'll become a, like, half-lizard creature that spits fire. Fire! And, like, I love the design of this character. Both the new and the old. Like... I think the old one on this guy looks really good, but at the same time, the new character just has so much personality that I just think it's pretty nice. So I'm genuinely looking forward to playing a little bit more of this. It took me a little bit to, like, honestly understand it at first, because I, like, I don't know, I just kept, like, going the wrong way. Just kept going. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get hit in the head, like, a thousand times here. I'm just gonna give you a heads up. It's falling blocks. Uh, it's kind of cool. But like I said, this is Wonder Boy. It is $19.99 on the Xbox uh, One store right now. From Dot Emu. And I think it's pretty interesting. I'm really looking forward to trying more of this. We should have a review on this uh, sometime in the next week or two. Definitely check that out. 
and we will have a lot more quick taste coming up. I'm going to actually jump ahead a little bit. So like I said, I had not been using any of my like special items. You know, there's fireballs that you can spit. There's different swords and shields you're going to collect. Some cool stuff going on with this game. And obviously, it's got some nice hand-drawn cinematics. Like, just, uh, it's got a really cool feel. Like, this is not a game that I personally played when I was younger, but, like, it's something that looks like it could be fun still today, and that's pretty sweet. So, this is Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap. And now, this is what I wanted to show. A little bit of the village. This is kind of neat. Like, uh, I thought this right here, like, this is where I'm going to end. This is one of the coolest things to me, is just, like, walking into this little house or whatever, and, like... They have a full-on, you know, like, drawn area now on something that used to just be, like, a, a single face through a window type thing. And that's just kind of neat to me. But thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it. We will have more quick tastes up throughout the day. So definitely stay tuned for those. I'm going to try to get one up every other hour or so. So we're going to see we're gonna see if I can keep this pace. There's, like, nine releases today. I'm making that number up. But it's a lot. It's a lot. So it should be uh, it should be a good day for Xbox One fans. So thank you guys so much and later.